best He'll take your simple house and make it This just in. Joe Miles, popular host of the home improvement reality TV show Miles Above, was caught in a compromising position last night. He was seen entering a hotel room with what appears to be a prostitute. His co-host and fiance, Cat Everett, has refused to comment on the incident. Son of a bitch. What up, dog? Are you listening to this shit? Steve, yes, and it's pissing me off. I mean, I don't understand. She was a classy lady. Why are people freaking out? I, like I got a goddamn hooker. I don't know, man. Maybe because she was like dressed like the lady of the night. Oh, a lady of the night? Is that right, Grandpa? I mean, people dress like that all the time. Uh, Kat used to wear outfits like that on the reg. Yeah, when you guys like role played or like maybe for Halloween, she didn't do it like uh, every day. Potato, potato, man. No potato, potato. Look, man, just fat. Look, anyway, man, I believe you, but today is the day you want to get here on time. All right, man, seriously, though, how, like, uh, how bad is it? They sent someone from the network. A network rep? PR rep. A pubic region representative? Uh, Joe, Joe, what? Joe, look, Shh. man, you cannot Joe your way out of this one. Um, excuse me. I'm the lovable everyman Joseph Eugene motherfucking Miles, okay? Host of my own top-rated number two television reality hit. On our national television. I can jump my way at anything, bitch. Okay, okay, okay. Look, if you ever call me a bitch again, we will dance, Papa Bird. Why do you call me the Channing Tatum of reality TV? No, no one, no one, no one calls you that, like, ever. Look, man, just get your pasty white ass over here quickly. Pasty? All right, I'm on the way. So, bitch. Thank you so much for rescheduling that appointment for me. You're such Why a sweetheart. What would I do without One you? One day, you'll be making my appointments. <clears throat> well, this looks like a party for the chess club. Am I right? Joe, so nice of you to join us. Only 30 minutes late. I think that's a new record. It, honestly, it is. I was made uh, aware that my presence here today was very essential. So I rescheduled my vendor meeting. I moved some other appointments around. And voila, you're welcome. Mandy Poop. You haven't changed that appointment for me? Yeah. Yeah. One day you're gonna make me my Alright, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this. Meat and potatoes? Who say shit like that? I swear he's not human. Meat and potatoes. Okay, yeah, Gordon, I'm glad you brought it up. Because frankly, a little perturbed, okay? I, I went out, we had a great night, I met a beautiful soul, and people are freaking out like I bought or I rented a hooker. Okay, Gordon, I'm gonna take it from here. You're a great producer, but I've got this. We haven't met yet. My name is Jamie. I'm uh, with the network. I'm a PR rep. So, uh, no. No, I'm saying that. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I've been doing this for a long time, like four months. Oh, wow. Wow. And I've dealt with all types of celebrities. I've seen it all. I'm a pro. I actually graduated with a master's in creative communication thinking. Well, thank you. Um, I'm actually just going to jump on in. Gordon, do you mind? Be my guest. Please tell me your whole story. I will. Well, Steve said the Grizz didn't tell you? Very inappropriate. No, 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 no. We're homies. Like, we, we finish each other's sentences. We do? That doesn't sound like... Baby farts? Oh, my God. He wanted to think. He thought it. I said it. Okay. Um, second, I need to know the point of view from your side is so I know how to best handle the situation. Okay, Chief. I can do that. Put your seats in the upright position and buckle up, bitches, because it's going to get bumpy. All right? It was the summer of 1996. Little did he know his life was going to change forever. Oh my god, can you cut the theatrics? I got shit to do today. I have things to do, places to see, and whatever. 
fine. All right. Anyway. Well, first of all, that is from my movie memoirs that are coming out uh, next month on the Women Network. Okay? WB or something like that. Anyway, stay tuned. It's called A Night of Seduction. Oh. Joseph Eugene Miles story. It's a good one. You, you, you read it. You read the book. Unfortunately. Yeah. Anyway. I'm sorry. Just... Yeah, Kat and I, we were in the lobby of the hotel in Vegas for the trade show, right? Finished up all, all our vendor meetings and all that. We're downstairs. We're having a few drinks. And what was it, like around 10-ish or so? Uh, her boyfriend, Guy, shows up. Oh my up. God, it's Guy. All right, Comes in, and then they go upstairs to their room to, you know, read or do whatever they do. And it was too early for me to call it a night, so I hung out. And actually, it was pretty nice that I did, because I met this really cool guy. He's a vendor for Boss Tools. It was kind of a good lead. And I uh, even talked to the bartender to making a few McGillicuddies that evening. Yeah, I'm intrigued by the McGillicuddy. You should be. Oh, it is the nectar of dogs. No, my son. That's ambrosia. <laughs> Silly Gordon, that is a stripper at Club Taboo. Well, you're both right. But uh, it truly is the true elixir of the mortals. I mean, it will fuck you up. TM. Anyway, so. You done? So we're chatting it up, and, and you know, uh, for a minute, I was thinking someone may have uh, encouraged her to sit with me. But then I realized, like, after introducing her to a few of Miguel Cuddy's, she's just a fan. Uh oh. Yeah. I mean, don't be wrong. She was hot. I mean, she was no cat or nothing, but she was no bagger either, right? Aw, you're leaning on my heart. If I had you on one leg and her on the other leg, both sitting in front of me, just ready and waiting and willing to get Joe's your size, it'd be you. Oh, wow, yeah, thanks. Very that means a lot. Thanks. I haven't seen her, but for some reason, I feel like that's inaccurate, you know, because it's you. What does that mean, man? Like, did you, did you forget about Hot Mary? Oh, no, no, no. She, man, she haunts my dreams. I bet she does, because I slept with her and you didn't. No, because that's all you did was sleep with her. I mean, she told me how you cried about your bye-bye, which I assume means bottle. <laughs> oh, this is too good. Bottle does mean bottle. Everyone knows that. You need to be told that. Write that down. It does mean bottle. Yes, I cried because it was very emotional for me seeing her undress, okay? There's a lot of years in the making, okay? And she was so hot. I mean, she made Kat look like she gave herself like some old gypsy curse to make herself look just hideously ugly. Again, no. Why would I put a curse on myself? I don't know oh why. Oh my god, you are so rude. It's hypothetical. It's I. There's no why or oh, ifs. Oh, um, is. master of English language, I see. Yeah, yeah. let's go for it. I mean, okay. get a degree like she did. Yeah, I see that. It's very plain to see. Anyway. How did you know I said Baba? Oh, she told me right after I had the greatest 15 minutes of my life. You didn't. You didn't. Oh, I did. Mm -hmm. All, I mean, all. Oh, come on. You at least got consent, right? Consent? She sexually violated me. What are you... She was so hot, it was so Trump like she okay. forced herself on me, okay? Oh my god. So I'm like it was this. so confusing. So it's like very Trump. Like, mm -hmm. like, you can buy a house with that. paperwork. Mm -hmm. When dude, when did this happen? You remember when I told you I had that boner for like four days oh, straight? It's it's I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I remember we were it's all blurry about you, man. Oh my god. I think this item has gone on long enough. Joe, will you please finish your story? So we're sitting at the bar side by side, kinda like we are right now and I looked into her eyes, and she looked into my baby blues, and I could just tell she wanted to drink from the Fountain of Joe. So, I took her upstairs and hydrated the shit out of her. Wait, so she wasn't an escort? No, she wasn't a hooker, man. She was a dental hygienist from Oregon or some fucked up state, and she really liked my molars. All well, right, she was up at that store. So, why did you blow up the cameras? Oh, girl, I was cutty drunk and <laughs> very low on blood sugar for my look at me. Very vigorous and satisfying, Joe's resizing. Joe Mel's my favorite Caucasian. White people do crazy shit, cutty drunk. Okay, what is the next step? Well, I need to ride with Joe. Experience his day to make the best plan of action. Yeah, you sure you can't just like tight something up real quick and give it to him to talk to the public or, you know, just anything but ride with him? I mean, not really, other than flipping out on camera, which he wasn't violent or physical. He actually just did the truffle shuffle dance and cried in the fetal position. That's so common. me riding with Joe will help me truly know like how to best tackle the situation. All right, so I got me a riding partner, fellas. Well, if everyone's done wasting my time, can we please start the day? Okay, Kat, Steve to the grace, don't forget I want to support me. I'll be there. Oh yeah, I got set 20 minutes right ahead. Vagina farts.
Mandy, what time do you set my appointment for? 10 o'clock. Oh, that is perfect. Well, are you ready, J-Balls? Please do not call me that. Inappropriate? Almost everything you said at this point has been inappropriate. Me too. Perfect. All right. I love you. You still love me. Oh, I love you too. I just eat you up. Mm. Are you guys going to be ready for the promo tomorrow? Will <laughs> we be ready? Watch this. Mm. You've been putting off those home repairs long enough, haven't you? You just want to sit back and watch the game, but the wife's been nagging me to get it done. Oh, Joe. Well, don't just sit there. Grab a bag of popcorn, too. And let's make your house miles, miles above. above. Guys, that, that, that was beautiful. We, we worked you on it all. Nailed it. Wait, hey, are you too afraid public image as a couple is going to be ruined since Joe was found with the hooker? Allegedly. Yeah. Isn't that uh, why you're here? Oh, can we just say we're like one of those, you know, like open relationships Ooh. kind of things? Uh, Gross. Doing your job now. I mean, that can work. I hate you. Yeah, well, I hate you and everything you do and say, like, sleep with dirty hookers. Well, they're not all dirty. Yeah, that's why they're hookers. You're one to talk with Gee McD. Oh my god, his name is Guy. It. Jesus. No one cares. Well, you're a Fruit Loop eating idiot. Fruit Loops? You gonna bring Fruit Loops into this right now? It's my there. favorite breakfast I treat. Went there. Too yeah. far. That is. Oh, I Joe, went there. Keep your shit together. I went there. Keep your shit there. All right. I'm, all right. Joe, keep it together. All right. Our, ten, our, our morning appointment, ladies, please. Can we roll before I do something that you're really gonna be needed for? Did you hear what she said about Fruit Loops? I can't. Go. There. Can you go? Please roll color. Goodbye. Next time, on Miles Above. Oh thank god, I need to bet. Okay, so, now what? Well, so, usually we just kind of hang out here, drink a few McGillicuddies, until, until our lunchtime time come in. So, you know what is one of the benefits of the sky being so big? What's that? Well, when you're up there, you, you see things. So do you think the sky is hot? I bet it is. It's closer to the sun. I was thinking that we could talk about my pay. It's been two years. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, so let's take the foot off the gas there, Fast Furious, okay? Well, go this for us, amigo. We all need this. Seriously, Jamie. Are you trying to snitch? Because snitches get cut. You're saying she's the same one. That's what I've been saying. What do they do? They'll take a simple hole and make it...